so much we can learn from nature. One of the things that really has inspired me from a long time from nature has been this transformation of the caterpillar to a butterfly. I'm fascinated by this wonderful and brilliant aspect of nature. It's almost impossible to believe that this butterfly actually emerged from this caterpillar. But very interestingly, there's one simple stage in between the two, the pupa. The time the caterpillar stops its usual ways of doing things. You know, it's this voracious eating that's constantly just feeding on everything that comes its way. It stops doing that, gets itself isolated completely into that cocoon, into what we consider today as a quarantine time. And then in that space, it completely shifts everything that it actually was doing before. And when it emerges, it's this beautiful, brilliant and light butterfly. And it's so great to see that transformation, but it would never have been possible without that space where it had to cut itself off from everything around itself to allow that seed of the butterfly to emerge and to become it. So today, in fact, marks the first day of the 21 day lockdown that has been announced in India. Whilst it's extremely important for me, for my own safety, for the safety of my family and my neighbor, for the country and for the world, it's very important we step into this lockdown period with amazing positiveness because that's when we're going to really emerge victorious. We're going to take it serious, but we're also going to be able to do something purposeful and useful. So yes, there is a quarantine period, but that's good for us. And let's know that whilst the whole world is looking at this aspect, the virus that we are all subject to right now as something that's setting us all back by many years. Let me remind you that Mankind has this innate ability, the strength of being able to come back from all these setbacks in the most professionally brilliant way. Today happens to be Chedi Chand, which is the new year of the Sindhis, and that's the first day of the lockdown period. And so let me talk to you a little bit about their success story. About 70 years back, the Sindhis were supposed to just leave everything that had ever thought was theirs that belonged to them, whether it was the property, the place they were in, or the business that they had. And they also just take themselves, uproot themselves from wherever they were in Sindh, of course, and to move into a place called nowhere. They didn't know whether they're going to get their normal food, shelter, or clothing, but they just had to move. Now, they took that up as a challenge and they went forth. And let me tell you, today that community happens to be one of the most adaptable communities in the world. And they've done exceptionally well for themselves and for the people around them. So kudos to those people. They've actually shown us how mankind can really emerge from setbacks and do exceptionally well for themselves. The well, Japanese after World War II just did the same. They were able to show how they emerged into one of the most renowned, the most, well, people would look up to them as the beings of quality. Any product of quality, it had to be from there. And that became a benchmark to many. So we've done it before, we will do it this time as well. No doubt about it. We're going to emerge and we're going to really go much more ahead of what we ever could have done without the setback. So let's look at it in a positive way. Let's see how I can go into these 21 days, look at it as a 21 day challenge, every day work on myself, see how I can become physically better, mentally better. How can I be better as a spiritual being? How can I be better as a social being as well? So on all these four levels, let me start seeing a few diff little bit of improvement on a daily basis. And I'm sure I'll emerge brilliantly well out of it. So a few thoughts that will help us as we get into this quarantine period, one, the quarantine is good for me. Two, I know that whatever is happening around me, there would be certain setbacks, but we have got the amazing capability, the capacity to emerge victorious, and we will do that. 
Three, there is nothing to fear except for fear itself. So let's go on to this particular journey, 21 days of quarantine, and let's emerge victorious. And I'm sure you and I can make it.